There's so many great tools that we have in Maya, and we've integrated all of these really important open standards. What we now have to do is really level it up and make really elegant workflows on top of those open standards. You're starting to see this with LookDevX. You're seeing it with what we're doing with USD and Bifrost, uh, Maya USD for sure, but also now Maya Hydra. Your average artist, they just want to create. They don't want to think about USD. They don't want to really think about Material X. They want to think about making a beautiful picture or getting a great performance. And the standards have to serve that, but the way they serve that end is through great workflows. You know, it's our job, you know, as software developers, delivering tools for them to kind of help them uh, maximize their output and, and uh, you know, create the highest fidelity possible through iteration and, and, and refinement. There's lots of new additions to the animation tool set in Maya 2024, and they're going to make animators' lives so much easier. In the latest version of Maya, we've modernized the timeline. The experience is more pleasing visually, but also functionally. Uh, we've added a lot of improvements to make it easier for animators to work on their craft. We introduced a curve sculpting feature for the graph editor. We have some precision controls in dealing with keys and curves. With these new updates, we really want to empower artists to go faster, to, to work more efficiently, and to, to stay in the zone. We also just released some rigging improvements for character TDs. Uh, one of these is a multiple skin cluster support for geometry, which allows for more layered uh, weight painting workflows. We've also introduced um, a debugging feature, which allows uh, riggers to see the numeric weight values directly in the viewport. Well, one of the cool things that we've added, and one of my favorite things that we've been working on is uh, retopology, uh, automated retopology, that is. Uh, and we've actually been doing this in collaboration with the 3ds Max team. Retopology is, is something that, uh, you know, is traditionally a very time-consuming process. So what we really want to do is to allow artists to manually retopo things when they need to, and then automatically retopo things um, when, they, when they want a really quick solution. We've added support for multi-object retopology through our, our quad draw tool, and that some, is something you couldn't do before. With Booleans, we now have uh, additional options for controlling interactive update to give more performant results. Uh, we also have just better usability with updates to the, the stack UI that we've created just to make it more efficient, more intuitive. Simulation's really hard, or it can be, um, and we're trying to make it a lot easier and more accessible. In the latest release of Bifrost, there's a new viewport rendering called Nano VGT. So this is a GPU-native way of rendering volumes. Uh, basically, you can visualize colors in there, have more physically accurate combustion, and actually just view uh, more total voxels. The NPM Gel is a new material we added to the NPM solver. This can simulate things like toothpaste or shaving foam, liquid chocolate, or even soft serve ice cream. Volume rendering in Arnold has been a focus this year. We started by improving the control by making them more expressive so that you could do things like render clouds or explosions uh, better looking out of the box. I'm really proud of the work that we've been doing uh, optimizing our products for Apple Silicon, particularly with rendering. You know, we see a pretty sizable performance bump just by moving uh, over to you know running natively on Apple Silicon, something in the order of between 20 and 40 percent. The Apple Silicon port has been a collaboration with Apple engineers. The the performance we're getting from this port is a, is significant, and so you have both the performance and the energy efficiency of those chips on your laptop, on your workstation, all all all, all the new uh, Apple hardware. So artists just want to go faster, like everybody else. The production demands are increasing, complexity is increasing, timelines are not getting any longer as a result. Our job is to allow the artist to use these really complex systems under the hood, but in this artist-friendly kind of creative way.